Had you ever wondered how best to prepare for the end of the world? Whether you're a seasoned zombie, a survivalist, or just a fledgling bunker builder, a secure fortress is crucial. So, let's take a look at the best purpose-built doomsday bunkers available. We need to know what we're up against before creating the ultimate survival stronghold. So, what are the most serious dangers to humanity? The most likely apocalypse threats, and how a specially built fortress, can help us prepare for them are listed below. Number 1. The Financial Crisis Many individuals believe that a financial crisis, unlike any we've seen before, would lead to the global economy collapsing, creating a breakdown in our trade system, and eventually, widespread social unrest as people fight for food. Cash would be almost worthless in such a situation, so you'd have to be prepared by stockpiling food and goods. Your fortress would need to be huge enough to store years' worth of food and water, as well as impenetrable enough to keep the unprepared from stealing your supplies. With the ever-dwindling population of bees, it's likely that these valuable pollinators may go extinct one day. If something like that happens, the world's food supply will be disrupted, causing civil upheaval. We wouldn't be able to feed even a fraction of the world's 7 billion hungry mouths, who would be willing to kill you for the last crumb. You'll need a substantial supply of supplies and a secure, long-term method of raising and growing food for yourself and your fellow survivors in the event of a calamity like this. Number 2. Biological Catastrophes Antibiotic-resistant bacteria, as well as highly contagious and fatal diseases developed in clandestine laboratories around the world, are very real dangers. If contagious diseases or noxious gases lead to an apocalypse, you should be quarantined behind robust sealed isolated walls with enough medical supplies. And of course, there's the zombie apocalypse. When the zombies come for your flight, whether it's through mind-controlling fungi or psychic brainworms, your city flat won't help you much. You'll need robust walls and plenty of defense equipment. Number 3. Weapons with Nuclear Power Nuclear weapons pose a real menace, from their initial blistering blast to their law-abiding carcinogenic fog. The U.S. nuclear arsenal's heaviest bomb could kill 1.4 million people in under 24 hours, although Russia's greatest nuclear weapon has the potential to kill 7.6 million people. A nuclear war would not be a single bomb event. You can say goodbye to the world if this happens and hundreds of warheads are launched. As you may be aware, if doomsday preppers are correct, underground is the ideal place to be, as many meters of dirty rock and reinforced concrete are the best method to protect yourself from nuclear blasts and lethal radiation. Number 4. Natural Calamities Tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and even massive meteorites could endanger humanity's existence. Whether dealing with toxic post-eruption air, biblical floods, or a devastated surface world, climate change, or a significant pole shift may lead to more extreme weather and rising seas in the future. The ultimate fortress will have to be well above sea level, impermeable, and nearly unbreakable. So now we know what we're up against, but before we create the ultimate survival castle, we need to know what we're up against. Let's take a look at what's already out there to help us prepare for doomsday scenarios. The Epitome This is a billionaire's bunker with such a high level of secrecy that even the website is password locked. It was developed by a Czech entrepreneur in order to withstand a nuclear assault. It's said to be the world's largest residential doomsday shelter, and it's hidden someplace in Czech. It has several high security systems, including a blast door, and can store food, water, and supplies for up to 10 years. There's even a bar, a library, and a cinema in the shelter. The Adirondacks Missile Silo Home, like the Epitome, conceals a deep blast or shielded vault beneath an ordinary dwelling. This Cold War missile silo would undoubtedly defend you from the worst of nuclear or biological assault, although not being as advanced or equipped as the Epitome. These alternatives, however, are not the best long-term solutions to all apocalypse scenarios. Even if you had a decade's worth of supplies, you'd ultimately need to produce food, catch more water, and keep renewable energy gadgets up and running to keep your house powered, because the electricity system would most certainly be down. You'd have to generate your own energy to stay warm and power any above-ground structures, Bank Fort Spit. The issue of irradiated land is addressed by Bank Fort by omitting the land component entirely. The fort is armor-plated with reinforced concrete and was once kitted out. It is located near Portsmouth and the United Kingdom. It's now a privately owned hotel with nine luxury bedrooms, suites for 700 pounds per night, with searchlights, as well as nine to 12-inch breech-loading cannons, suitable for taking out steamships and small aircraft. 
If you want to hide here for the apocalypse, you'd better start saving immediately. If Plymouth was hit by a big nuclear weapon, its secluded position and sturdy facade would give the ideal defense and distance against zombies. This fort may be attack ready, but it lacks supplies and would be vulnerable to a cataclysmic deluge. Safe House This four-year-old safe house in Warsaw, Poland, was designed by Robert Konecheny with absolute security in mind. It contains automated sliding walls, window shutters, solar energy storage, and even a drawbridge leading to the pool structure. The drawbridge and sliding walls are designed to fully seal the house off from the outer world. However, this safe house falls short in a number of ways. It lacks the nuclear survival advantages that come with being underground, as well as weaponry, tight seal protection, and airborne illness treatment facilities, as well as long-term food supplies. While it might keep you safe from zombies, it wouldn't be so helpful in the event of a nuclear disaster. It also lacks the huge food stockpiles required to withstand the majority of other scenarios. Now it's time to create a survival fortress to rival them all, using the best examples available and a little imaginative thinking. If you had an infinite budget, you could build something very interesting, including both above and below ground dwelling quarters. Tall structure. You're safe from nuclear fallout underground, yet you can generate food or energy above ground if your stockpile is insufficient for both protection and observation. A tall structure, such as a tall wide silo with steel walls 10 inches thick to shield you from radioactive particles and reinforced with concrete to prevent rust, would be a decent idea. You could store it in a food to serve a village of 10 for a few decades inside. Non-perishable food with lengthy shelf lives, such as cans, jars, and military ready-to-eat meals, will be used. We'll also need batteries, water purification equipment, and medical supplies like vitamins and antibiotics. There is an armory above ground with weapons and ammo. Water tanks on the roof might gather water and feed into a massive underground reservoir. You might extend around the edge of your roof assets walls with intermittent holes to view the surrounding area and shoot any prospective invaders to safeguard your roof assets walls. A small garden for growing food would also be on the roof with solar panels and wind turbines to power your home. These might be linked to technologies like Tesla's power, wall to store excess electricity, while it isn't being used, allowing for additional land to be used for food production. You could even build massive curb barriers around structures to prevent zombie pyramids from rising and overtaking them, as seen in the Warsaw Safe House, where a drawbridge opens up to reveal a structure with a ladder that allows you to enter the inner garden. In a desperate apocalyptic world, it would also serve as your first line of defense against hordes of zombies that you can shoot at from the top of the tower on that note guns, and lots of them kill or be killed through the center of the structure is a spiral staircase that allows you to access each floor deep. The dwelling quarters are located below the surface. The fortress's interior will be inspired by the epitome, with beautiful decor and a few amenities. If there is news that you need to know about, there should be a radio system in the main chamber that is wired to a rooftop antenna. You'll need a large kitchen and lounge area, as well as a few bedrooms for your family and friends. A survival team or community of your choosing, complete with medical professionals, firearm experts, and a problem solver with technical abilities is essential. And if you don't have one, you'll need to add a library of books to learn. The video for today has come to a close. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Let us know what you think about the survival fortress in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel and set on post notifications if you haven't already for more incredible videos.